you've decided to be a volunteer face painter for your school or church. Let's talk about some paint safety tips. Craft paints are not safe for skin. Even paints labeled non-toxic or for children are not safe for skin. It's not recommended to use any of these products for direct skin contact. This is a few of the chemicals that can be contained in craft paints. As the manufacturers were not intending these products to be put on skin, they did not put ingredients in them that are safe for skin. Non-toxic does not mean skin safe. It can lead to facial scarring if used on sensitive skin. Professional face paints, however, have to be tested and regulated by the FDA to contain skin safe ingredients. There are hypoallergenic formulas available and face paints contain products inside them to help preserve them. What is craft glitter? Craft glitters do not need to contain FDA approved coloring and they can also include metals or sharp materials. Craft glitters can become embedded in the skin or eyes. They can cause vision problems, blindness, or loss of an eye. Cosmetic glitter, on the other hand, is skin safe and should not cause damage to eyes if they get in there. I still try to avoid the eye area though. Cosmetic glitter has much stricter guidelines it's typically made from plastic or polyester and must be cut to specific standards. It also cannot contain any unsafe materials within it. Let's talk about some good face paint products that are safe for skin safe for the kids and a bit easier on your budget than purchasing a full professional kit. I love these smaller palettes, some smaller stencils that can be used on the cheek or hands, a few sponges like this Wicked sponge here. It's a high density sponge and is great for stenciling. I love this iridescent glitter as it goes with pretty much everything. This is a tap stencil. I also have these really nice smaller palettes. You can get 12 color palettes. You can get six color split cake palettes. As these are smaller palettes, you should be able to use the amount of paint needed for your job that you have. Let's review how to do a stencil. You're going to get your high density sponge, damp, but not so wet that water drips out when you squeeze it. See, there's no water dripping, but it is damp on my hands. You're going to rub it on to your color of choice. If you're using a split cake, you wanna try and keep the sponge rubbing in the same direction. Check it, make sure you have full coverage on your sponge take out your design stencil. I like this one because when I stencil it on, it actually looks like a small design. You're going to firmly place the stencil in place on the skin, holding either side, making sure it's not going to move. You tap your sponge over the design, lifting up your sponge to check coverage. If there's a spot that needs more paint, you can go over it again. Then lift up your stencil and check it. I have a few spots to wipe off. That's okay. Looks pretty good. Then you can top it off with some of your cosmetic gray glitter. I really like this one. It goes with any color. So if you have this iridescent white, you don't really need any other choices because it works with all the designs. Supply care. 
This is very important. You need to take care of all your supplies once you're done with your volunteer job. Take all of your dirty sponges. We are going to wash them with some Castile soap. That's what I use. You can also use some gentle baby soap. Turn on the water, let it start warming up. Rinse all of the paint out of your sponge until the water runs clear. I typically like to wash about four sponges at a time as it seems to go a little bit faster when they have more sponges to work up a lather against. Add a few drops to each sponge and squish it up to work a lather. This one is not lathering very fast. I think I'm going to have to add more soap to it to get what I want. Again, it's a little easier when you have a few sponges in your hand. Once you feel like you have all the paint residue out of it, you can run it under the water until the water runs clear and you have all of the soap out. The paints are a lot easier to care for. Those you just want to leave open until they are completely dry. I typically leave mine out with the lids off overnight. You can just set them next to your sponges. I set them on a paper towel or a towel and let them dry overnight as well once they are clean.